Hey everybody, my name is Brad Kirby. I'm a senior director here at Commvault and the product management team. And today we're super excited to introduce how Commvault and Microsoft are partnering together around Microsoft 365 backup storage to really allow our customers to have the best possible data protection experience for Microsoft 365 at scale. And uh, with me here today is Brad Gusson. Brad, you wanna just quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, uh, thanks Brad K. Uh, I'm Brad G, Brad Gusson. I am uh, the principal PM manager leading up the Microsoft 365 backup storage platform product. And really excited to be here to chat with you and inform our audience here about all the great things that Commvault is doing in partnership with us to make backup and restore even more powerful and productive for our customers. Maybe let me start off by setting a little bit of context here uh, in terms of data growth in Microsoft 365. Today alone, we see more than two and a half billion new files created in Microsoft 365 every single day. That's a mind blowing amount of data created. And we see a lot of tenants actually growing by more than a petabyte a month as well. So not only a lot of files and data in the service, but lots of individual com customers growing at an incredible rate here. And that in general creates a little some challenges when it comes to maintaining security, compliance, privacy, and achieving reliable and performant recovery. That's all becoming a lot more challenging and complex and that's sort of the outline of what we're gonna be talking about today. Maybe I'll start off here by asking you, Brad Kay, a question from Microsoft yeah. Commvault. What, what are the top concerns that you're hearing from customers around business continuity? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, those are some amazing stats about Microsoft 365 and the just the, the sheer volume of data and the fact that for most organizations or all organizations, really, this is mission critical data. I think the first thing I would say is, um, you know, our, our customers really appreciate the fact that the Microsoft 365 environment is physically redundant and geographically separated. And that really provides a, a highly available and disaster tolerant infrastructure for these super important uh, workloads. So need to say that out of the gate. But while Microsoft is monitoring and ensuring that infrastructure availability, um, we all know that ultimately the customer is responsible for the integrity uh, of their data and you know more and more organizations are becoming aware of that fact and for that reason you know they voice a number of concerns to us first you know everyone is concerned uh, about ransomware and the impact of uh, ransomware on their business operations um, they're also concerned about you know potential malicious internal attacks and how to recover from those and then finally, um, you know, a lot of organizations are simply concerned about large scale um, accidental modification due to a script uh, that's gone wrong and, you know, deleted data or, you know, potentially a migration that's had a critical error and uh, corrupted data as part of that migration process. There, there's a whole host of concerns that, that are top of mind for people. And, you know, Brad, as you mentioned earlier, Customers have terabytes or, you know, oftentimes petabytes of highly sensitive data with complex metadata and labeling requirements. And they need to ensure that they're able to restore all of that quickly and efficiently uh, in the uh, event uh, of a disaster. And some customers actually have some pretty challenging security and compliance requirements where they have to retain that data, that M365 data within the trust boundary. That's absolutely critical to them. At the same time, there are other customers that say, hey, I need to have a, a portion of that data outside of the trust boundary for uh, you know, legal or compliance, uh, legal or audit reasons. And at the end of the day, um, it's really important for organizations to assess um, the important factors such as baseline risks and dependencies and establish what their recovery objectives are and make sure that they have an operational plan to achieve those objectives, you know, in a complex compliance environment. And probably most important, 
they need to ensure that they have uh, a sufficiently performant plan. In other words, the, the best laid out plans are, are, are really not practical if you can't recover quickly. So kind of with that in mind, uh, as a lead in, Brad G., where, where are you seeing um, customers or where should customers be focusing their cybersecurity requirements? And then we're going to talk about Microsoft 365 backup. Yeah, those are, those are all great points. Uh, I think it's, it's in, important to first point out, like, step zero should be to try to detect threats before they breach your data. But ultimately, you know, those, those threats can get through. Unfortunately, we've seen them. And so, like you said, it's really important to have a sufficiently performant recovery plan in the event that an attacker gets through and compromises the customer's data in, in some way. And so when customers think with this mindset, uh, they should look for a solution that basically achieves those goals. And they, they really need a simple plan. They need something that is speedy and that operates at cloud scale to quickly recover their data wherever it lives with enterprise grade resiliency and really an integrated incident response because when there's an emergency, you need to make sure that you have a good plan together, you have great tooling and that you can operate it to get back into a healthy state really as quickly as possible. And so taking a simplified approach with the best tools for business continuity is critical. So taking a simplified approach to achieving their business continuity across all of their data estates for great data re resiliency across their apps, their on-prem, their various clouds, et cetera, is, is really important so that they have a plan to get back to a healthy state as quickly as possible. Uh, at the end of the day, you're not really buying backup, you're buying the ability to recover your business operations quickly and securely. Yeah, and I think that's a really good point, right? The, the idea here is you're not just buying backup, you're buying the ability to recover your business and I think that's a great segue into what is Microsoft 365 backup and Microsoft 365 backup storage and how does it address some of those concerns that you just talked about or, or, or where customers should be focusing their efforts? Yeah, that, that's a great question. So Microsoft 365 backup, or in this case, backup storage that Commvault is building on top of is really our preferred platform for customers to protect their M365 data. First of all, it provides ultra high speed bulk backup and restore capabilities. And so it's the best way to recover a healthy state of your data quickly to restore business continuity as soon after attack, as soon after an attack is humanly possible. And that's exactly what customers will get with Commvault's integration with Microsoft 365 backup storage. It enables that enterprises to perform that extremely fast backup and reactivation of their OneDrive, SharePoint, and Exchange content, many orders of magnitude faster than is otherwise possible with traditional solutions. And to put that into a little bit of context here, we're seeing restore speeds of roughly three terabytes an hour uh, when you're restoring about a thousand sites of average size, thousand mailboxes of average size. And that compares, uh, that's about 20 to 30 times faster than is possible with traditional Microsoft 365 backup and restore solution. So you can just see the scale and the speed at which this really makes a difference when you're trying to get your business back up and running, uh, being able to recover that data 30 times faster means really all the difference in the world. It means that you can get your business back up and running in a matter of hours. You don't have to shut down your business and turn customers away and go negotiate with ransomers. You just stand your business back up uh, as soon as possible. It's, it's great. And also call out here because the data resides in the Microsoft 365 trust boundary. And again, still physically redundant in ge uh, geographically separated locations for exceptional high availability and disaster recovery. But because it's in that trust boundary, it provides really tight security control and privacy restrictions for your data so that you don't have to give overly permissive application data scope grants for this particular data. And we know that's one of the main reasons that customers bring and keep data in, a, in Microsoft 365 is because of all of that security and compliant feature set that, that is baked right into all the data. 
Yeah, that, that, those are some amazing stats when you think about, you know, the performance with, with which you're able to recover. Um, it, it, it really is. And, and Brad, if I might, I mean, I want to talk a little bit about how Commvault is integrating uh, that technology into our solution and maybe give folks uh, a little bit of an intro into what the Commvault cloud is. So first, uh, Commvault cloud is a multi-tenant SaaS solution that is deployed in multiple Azure regions across the globe and protects a whole host of Microsoft workloads from Microsoft 365 to Active Directory and Entra ID to Azure VM and Azure SQL, Cosmos DB, AKS, you name it. Uh, Commvault is probably protecting that Microsoft workload for you. And what we're so excited about, um, Brad G, I think we've been working on this for over a year now, mm -hmm. is uh, Commvault is going to be integrating Microsoft 365 backup storage directly into the Commvault cloud. So if you've been using Commvault cloud to uh, protect Microsoft 365 and other workloads today, you're going to be able to take instant advantage of all of the great characteristics of Microsoft 365 backup storage uh, that Brad uh, just talked about uh, a minute ago. So it's, it's a very kind of seamless experience if you're used to the Commvault solution. Uh, this is just going to fit right in and uh, work like any other workload that you're accustomed to using. Yeah, that's that's fantastic and, to hear. And I think I'm chomping at the bit here. Uh, how can customers purchase this solution from Com Commvault? Good question, Brad G. So um, it's going to be super easy uh, for our joint customers to purchase uh, Microsoft 365 backup from Commvault. It's actually going to be branded Commvault Cloud with premium Microsoft 365 backup storage. Customers will be able to purchase the quantity that they need uh, in terabytes. And then um, we will meter uh, all of their usage right alongside the other Commvault apps. Uh, so they know exactly how much they've, they're, they're consuming relative to uh, what they've purchased. And then once they purchase that subscription, it's a super simple uh, onboarding process where um, they we guide them through the process of creating an Azure app, and then they're able to start uh, using the Microsoft 365 backup service uh, directly within uh, the Commvault cloud. And there are also some other uh, capabilities that we want to talk about where Commvault is able to uh, do things like uh, give customers the ability to do self-service uh, restores for uh, data that's been accidentally deleted or potentially infected by malware. It's able to restore data out of place uh, when it's needed. And it's like we just talked about, able to protect all of those adjacent workloads. So super excited uh, about the integration here. Easy to purchase, uh, hopefully for uh, all of our end users. Uh, and then, you know, provide some unique uh, Commvault value on top of the Microsoft 365 backup storage uh, that we've been talking about here. Fantastic, yeah, sounds easy peasy to adopt you guys and uh, customers get a lot of added benefit out of it. So that's fantastic. So um, Brad G, uh, thanks for taking time out of your busy day here to, to talk with us here today and uh, not only talk about uh, Microsoft 365 backup storage, but uh, you know, give us your insights around how you know, Commvault is uh, integrating in. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. It was a, a pleasure talking, and uh, I hope the audience found this as exciting and, and useful as I did here chatting with you as well. And I think we have coming up on a, on a episode soon, an actual demonstration of the offering that you guys are giving so that customers can get a little bit more of a, a look and feel of what you're delivering. That is absolutely right. So we're going to encourage everyone to tune in to part two, where we're going to dive into a little bit more detail actually do a demo, let you see how uh, everything works. Uh, and then, um, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. We'll, we'll see everyone meet in the market. Sounds great. Yeah. Th thanks a lot, Brad K. All right. Thank you, Brad G.